What's going on everybody on YouTube? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift and I'm here with Harley, my niece. We're getting ready to go into the community aid. Um, I did take a care of a couple things in Walmart, grab some things that I need, some photo paper and bubble wrap. You gotta have your bubble wrap. Um, we're gonna see if we can find anything in here. Hopefully they put out another big bin of electronics uh, and video game stuff, but you know, probably not, but it's always worth taking a look. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, you need to subscribe. Make sure you hit the link down below to check out my eBay store. You never know what you're gonna find in there. And we're gonna get started. Okay, so not too bad in there. Um, I spent a total of four, like eight or nine dollars. Believe it or not, this game, this Fire and Rescue, this Disney Planes, this game sells for about forty dollars. So it's in really, really good condition. I got that, and I got myself a nice. This is a minor league. I think this is the Fighting Phils. Really good condition. Um, I did need a new red hat, and I got some yummy, yummy sugar wafer but that's it not anything special in there except for that game they did have a nintendo game but they wanted 25 for it it was a super nintendo mario all-star and um tried to tell the lady i'm like that's what they sell for like they're selling them for 25 dollars and hey they you know do what you got to do if there's going to be people that walk in there that are going to be buyers that are not just going to be sellers you know because there's buyers everywhere but Anyway, we're gonna hit up the Goodwill and then we're gonna to go to the Salvation Army and I guess we're just gonna go home from there. Okay, welcome back to the basement, AKA the dungeon. We're down here and uh, today somebody was asking me about my hat and um, they were like the St. Louis Rams and I really don't follow a lot of the sports and I really don't know what's going on. I didn't even know it was close to the Super Bowl. So um, anyway, since you guys made it this far, thank, um, thank you guys so much for we're staying in tune and we're going to get right into the haul video. I'm going to show you what I picked up and I may do, um, depending on how long the video is, I could possibly do a couple what solds, but um, I think we have a few, th I think I have enough, but you know, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. So um, one of the best items that I did pick up today, be on the lookout for this game, this Disney planes, fire and rescue. Um, I did not know that this game went for that much. Maybe that this this could possibly be a newer game. Um, let me see because I'm blind even with glasses. See if I can find the year that this game was released. 2014. So it's um, it's a seven-year-old game. It's not a new game. The disc is there. The book is there. So it's definitely complete. Um, I don't see getting less than 40. I just sold... Um, I just sold a Wii game for $40. It was, um, was it Wii? It was Wii, but it was a really weird game, like really strange. Did Digimon or something like that. Um, but um, yeah, there are games out there that have really good value. You just have to keep an eye out for them. And uh, this was one of those ones that I just scanned it and I was like, wow. There's like three games. Um, there's only three available um, through the barcode because you can type it in and you'll get much more um results than you will if you do the barcode because not a lot of people use the barcode um per se but i do so if i scan it and see the barcode and i hit um sold listings it's most likely that one of those listings i'm going to use to sell similar sell similar if you guys don't know is when you look an item up and you use that item to sell another item like you use it to um if you guys want me to do a video about it i can show you how to do it it's not very difficult uh, most of the stuff that we do on this on on eBay and reselling, they're not very complicated things to do. It just takes persistence and it just takes um, persevere to just go, to, you know, to make it through the storm at the end. Because um, there was a lot of crap that I had to deal with in the beginning, a lot of a lot of junk that I bought that I believe um, that I that I did think would sell and didn't sell, and I got stuck with it. And um, I'm gonna get rid of a lot of the stuff that I have now. And um, just kind of focus on on better items. I mean, because it's just like, you know, it's self-awareness, you know, it's or, or self-improvement um, for for a better, um, you know, to, to word it better. 
Um, it's just like life, you know, you just try to do things better and better and get better and better at it. And, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. So it's about improvement, um, if you will. So I did pick up this hat. I believe that this is the Fighting Phils. I'm definitely going to keep this one. This is a keeper. Um, all my red hats are kind of dooky, so um, I need to get rid of them. So I'm probably going to replace it with this one. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that this is the Fighting Phils. This is a local team. There's a lot of, um, I find a lot of Harrisburg hats and things like that because I live near Harrisburg. Um, so I find a lot of the Harrisburg Senators and stuff like that. And some of it is sought after and some of it's not. Like, um, I find all the bobbleheads and things like that out here and a lot of the game stuff. Um, and uh, some of it sells. There's, you'd, be, you'd be surprised where there are actual Harrisburg Senators fans. Like in like Florida and just, you know, all over the United States, maybe all over the world, you know, who knows, um, depending on, you know, what um, people can get in other countries, whether they get the this, this stations, the chat, you know, whether they can watch the games, but um, I don't know. So I'm um, definitely, I'm going to keep that. So there's, you know, there's no profit there. What do we got here? Okay. So there's a couple things that I did find on the side of the road when I pulled over and I looked in a box and I I think I grabbed like a couple books. They weren't really worth anything, but I did grab these. These are airbrush legs. This is just like, I think it's like Nair or something like that. And um, I don't think it has like a, that one's two and that one's three. Oh, okay. So these are two different shades. I may have to sell these separate. I was going to sell them together, but see that's medium and this is tan. So they're two different shades. Um, these are actually worth a few bucks, like almost $20 a bottle. So we're probably looking at at least $30 right here just for those two bottles. Um, they do need cleaned up. The, the, um, the surface is dirty. I have to clean them. So, but you know, whatever. Um, the couple, the things that I did pick up today were actually really, really cool. All right. So this is a woman's car heart. This thing is heavy too, man. This is beastie. Um, this is like super lined. Like it almost looks like it's wool, but it's in good shape. I don't see any holes. Like, um, it's just very well taken care of. I'm gonna clean it up. I don't know if that's a string. Yeah, that's a string. These are just, just, it's just lint. It's just lint. So not too bad. But um, it's got like the lining in it. It's like a um, like a shearling or something, or like a um, like a fleece line. Basically, that's like a fleece. It feels like it's wool. Um, we're gonna find out acrylic polyester. That's the shell. Okay, the shell is cotton, and the body exterior is cotton. Um, polyester. Um, blah blah blah. Large, large. So it's just a woman's. It's a Carhartt women's large. It's a good size. Here's the label. Um, I don't think that it's vintage. It might be a little bit older, but it's so beasty and big. I just figured that I would grab it for seven bucks. It was only six fifty. You guys can see the tag. It was only six fifty, so I think that I can probably get a decent amount for this. Hopefully enough to make a profit because um, it is kind of big, and it would probably this would probably end up going in a box. Um, I don't believe that I would be able to get this into an envelope or um, probably like a regional A box this will probably fit in one of those so but um yeah anything in the pockets Got something in i think there was change in the pocket remember there was change in it i was like there's money in the pocket was it this one maybe that was something else what's up in the morning yeah I, I guess i won't have any plans tomorrow all right gotcha 10-4 10-4, that's what people say in the Army. It means okay. 10-4, gotcha. <laughs> All right, so then we got this Columbia. Yeah, you got kids, life happens. You know, that's just... If you don't like the, the, the interruption, well, then oh well. No. Um, so we got this Made in USA Columbia. Really cool Aztec, really dope. I mean, this is just off the chain. Um, I do believe that I should be able to get at least $40 for this, if not more. Um, I paid up on this. I did pay $10 for this, but I'm definitely going to more than triple my money on this because of the design. The design is really, really cool. Um, and this is like a big, heavy one. Like This is a heavy jacket. Um, 
definitely a nice fleece. Very nice, very nice. So, yeah, maybe we are going to have to do some more sold because I don't believe that this is going to be enough. This isn't going to be enough um, for a video. So, I mean, there's not really anything over there to show you. That's already, that's stuff that we already went through. All right, so it looks like that's leather. That's just like a suede. All right, so I picked up this Joseph A. Bank Reserve. The only reason I picked it up is because it's new with tags. And that's the only way I know I'm going to make money on it. I know that I'm going to probably not get less than $30 for this. Um, five and a quarter. I'm going to list it high. Probably list it at like $55. Um, they are selling for like $30 and some change and shipping. So, uh, like I said, I'll probably list it high like $55. And, and uh, I'll put it on sale 15% and um, put free shipping on it. And it'll just go from there. And it'll probably sell for about $35, something like that. But anyway, five into 35 is fine with me. It's all good in the hood. It's all gravy, baby. That's all she wrote. And um, I did pick up this poster board. I'm going to try to expand my picture. I get these from like Walmart in the dollar store. They're just like the folding. I guess you could make things, use them to. I'm just going to cut the sides off and uh, maybe even cut in half. And I'm going to extend the thing that I'm using to take pictures on because um, it's just not wide enough. Like no matter... Like one way is long enough, one way is not wide. So I just figured that I need to make it a little bit bigger going that way. So, cause it's long enough that way, but I need to be able to put like bigger items on like, 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 um, like two X, three X jackets and things like that, because I'm just not doing the mannequin stuff anymore. I'm just going to lay them flat, take the pictures. I wish it was easier. I mean, I guess I could put them on a big hanger. I learned the big hanger from Rally Roots. Thank you, Rally Roots. They learned it from somebody else. I learned it from them. You can learn it from me. It's very simple. You just take just take a plastic hanger and just add more more length to it by using other hangers. Just break the ends off of um, two more hangers. You know what I mean? Just break another hanger in half and then just add it to the one hanger. And then you tape it, put cardboard around it, and... Um, I just made another hanger. It's very simple. Notifications go away. I, I got to do something about that because that's just interrupting it. It looks unprofessional, you know, me just swipe, swipe, swiping my stuff. Um, all right, so I'm going to get started on this. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to end the video just like that. And that's, that's all she wrote. I need to get started on other videos. I don't want to do a what sold right now. I will. If you guys want me to do a what sold video, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Peace. I'm out.